I'm going to show you really quick how you can set your break even and your pricing for your products. Then I'm going to come back here and show you how you can set your shipping payment and return policies. Okay, so back to AutoDS, I'm going to click on settings and here I'm going to set my supplier settings for every time I choose a product from Walmart, for example, to my Etsy shop. And of course, I can add more suppliers so I can add any one of AutoDS's 25 plus dropshipping suppliers from the different regions that we can import their products from and set whatever policies we want, whatever payment settings, break even and all of that since it differs from supplier to supplier. So for now, we're going to stick to Walmart to Etsy. And in this case, I'm going to say that the default product quantity, in that case, you should have seen that I have 10 variations in stock for each unit because I have 10 here on the default product quantity. So I can change that to five or do whatever. I can choose whatever shipping method I want from Walmart. So I want AutoDS in this example to grab the cheapest shipping method as long as tracking information is available and the shipping policies which i'll show you soon advanced list of settings which i won't go over now and the pricing is what i talked about so here for example we're gonna go with a 20 percent break even okay because let's say you know what let's turn off those off-site ads let's go with just 15 percent and on top of my break even i want to make another 40 percent in profit and another 30 cents fixed price because that's what I'm paying for every transaction. I'm going to pay that fee, so I want to waive that off. So in this case, if, if a product costs me $100, I'm going to have to sell for $165 to make my extra 40% in profit. Now here, I can also do many things like I can set price automation settings. So for example, I can add dynamic profit. So if the product costs anywhere between uh, zero to $100, then I want to make 40% uh, profit and another 30 cents. And I can continue moving around with this. So if it costs anywhere between 100 to 150, then I can make 35% in profit and another 30 cents and so forth. And you can also set a price sense value. So I want every product to finish with 0.97 cents, for example. And I also want to include the shipping price inside. So if the supplier, for example, wants to charge me $5 for shipping and the product costs me $20. So instead of it being 20 plus five, it's going to be 25 as a source price and on top of that i'm going to offer free shipping because i included the supplier shipping price inside my source price so to my customers i'm going to offer free shipping and that's going to look much much better so now i'm going to click on save and now every time i add a product from walmart to etsy these are the pricing settings that i'm going to have now besides that i also have the order settings i have the general settings i'm not going to go over that now but if you want information if there's anything that you feel that i left out you can just ask me and i will answer you in the comment section below so that's how easy it was to add that product to my store i simply click on add products click on single product and put the URL right here. Now there are multiple import settings in AutoDS. For example, I can go with multiple products and let's say here I want to add products from multiple suppliers or multiple products from one supplier. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the URL. I'm going to add it here and I'm going to make a line break and move over to the next product, whatever it may be. Let's say it's this DIY jewelry kit. I want to add this one too. Click on the product, click on the URL, copy it, paste it right here and continue. I can go with different suppliers for every line break, same supplier, different products, whatever. And once I'm done, I'm just going to click on add as a draft and they're all going to go to the draft section of my store.